As Hurricane Sandy smashes into the East Coast, Americans should ask themselves if they really want to turn the presidency over to a man who believes that federal disaster relief is immoral. Here is Mitt Romney being asked about federal disaster relief just one year ago. Governor Romney, you've been a chief executive of state. I was just in Joplin, Missouri. I've been in Mississippi and Louisiana and Tennessee and other communities dealing with whether it's the tornadoes, the flooding, and worse. Uh, FEMA's about to run out of money, and there are some people who say do it on a case-by-case -case basis, and some people who say, you know, maybe we're learning a lesson here that the states should take on more of this role. How do you deal with something like that? Absolutely. Every time you have an occasion to take something from the federal government and send it back to the states, that's the right direction. And if you can go even further and send it back to the private sector, that's even better. Instead of thinking in the federal budget, what we should cut, we should ask ourselves the opposite question. What should we keep? We should take all of what we're doing at the federal level and say, what are the things we're doing that we don't have to do? And those things we've got to stop doing because we're borrowing $1.6 trillion more this year than we're taking in. We cannot, relief, we, cannot, we cannot afford to do those things without jeopardizing the future for our kids. It is simply immoral in my view. That's Mitt Romney. When lives are lost, homes and businesses are destroyed, infrastructure is demolished. His primary concern is that we don't spend too much money trying to fix it. I lived on the Gulf Coast during Katrina, and I saw firsthand the devastation. I also saw firsthand the recovery. And I can tell you, that without the infusion of federal money, there would have been no recovery. No entity in the United States other than the federal government could have possibly furnished the $108 billion that it took to repair the South after Katrina. Ironic, considering that most of the regions affected were strongly Republican and remain so to this day. So for those of you who live in the South and saw what Katrina did, I warn you that a vote for Mitt Romney is a vote against the amazing recovery that we all saw. It's true, FEMA bungled initial efforts, largely because George Bush put Michael Brown in charge of the agency. What was Brown's qualification for running a disaster relief agency? Well. He was a stewards commissioner for the International Arabian Horse Association. Quite a fucking qualification. But nonetheless, I know federal money helped rebuild many homes on the Gulf Coast. I know this because my stepfather is a contractor who was involved heavily in reconstruction efforts. My family also got federal money to repair damages to their own property. Federal money rebuilt the Superdome, which is hosting its seventh Super Bowl next year. I saw, with my own eyes, federal money rebuild my own destroyed community. Conservatives, don't you dare tell me that I didn't see that, because I did. It is an affront to common decency to see a man who suckered the federal government into paying $1.5 billion for the Olympics and bragged about it on camera. Let's roll that clip really quick. I'm a big believer in getting money where the money is. And the money is in Washington. I've learned from my Olympic experience that if you have people that really understand how Washington works and have personal associations there, you can get money to help build economic development opportunities. It is an affront for that man to tell me and to tell my country that spending money to rebuild American communities damaged in natural disasters that they can't have the help of the federal government when it is their tax dollars that keep the federal government going. Romney believes that billionaires need tax relief, but ordinary people don't need disaster relief. How could any sane person conceive of committing themselves to the unconscionable act of casting their vote for this repugnant pile of shit? I'm the Amazing Atheist and I approve this message. Fuck you, Mitt Romney.